This is a disaster. Wrong grip, terrible footwork, no follow through. The ball has zero chance of going in the court. Wrong on every single thing. We're going to go and like harass people on the public tennis courts here in LA and hopefully we can make a little bit of a difference in their tennis lives. So basically I run under the court without uh, any consideration for the person or the player and tell them what they're doing wrong. The service motion. Just get a shot of it. On a serve and on volleys and actually a slice backhand, the grip has been the same for 100 years. Like that doesn't change. And that's what makes a really good server, volleyer, and person with a sliced backhand, is that they have just a basic continental grip. Try this, just, just try it for me, just so I can see. Shake the racket, okay? So you shake the racket's hand, right? Okay, but it's going over there because it's not as flat. Okay, so now because the grip is like this, yeah. it's going that way. Yeah, okay, so okay. Uh, aim a little bit more to the T, right? And it'll do that for you, okay? Woo! So a lot of grips and strings and everything's changed, but the one thing that hasn't changed is the simplicity of a serve grip is the same virtually as a volley grip and it's the same as a slice back and grip. So you can hit four shots with the same grip. Hi. I'm the same a fan. Ah, thank you. You and Pam are my fave. Oh. Commentators. What's your name? Brian. Brian just came over and told me he's a fan. So now I'm going to go over and I'm going to ruin his day. Come on, Brian, stop choking. <laughs> so when you go to hit it, you're, you look like you're uh -huh. kind of like hugging yourself, right? Yeah. So when the ball comes to you, get this right down, out it a little bit more. Okay. Yes, good. Yes. So Brian, he's such a strong guy that if he can keep that distance and give himself the space to hit the forehand right instead of on top of himself, then he'll get a much better forehand out of that. And he did a great job with it, actually. Pretty just much harassed you. You just fixed my forehand. LA is the place where you can play a lot of tennis outside and there's a lot of public courts. So these are the kinds of places I like to just run onto and yell at people at. Okay, so Marvin, right away, like your ball toss is like behind you. Okay. Like this, right? So that's why you're like, oh my God. So my back is hurting watching you serve. Okay. Try your best to stay there, but you always have to swing. Oh, I'm just, are you Renista? I am Renista, oh. yes. I, I just thought I'd come out here and give you guys a little tip uh -huh. or two. When the ball is above your waist and you're this close to the baseline, it's going out. It's really hard sometimes to get amateurs who have really bad techniques to change them overnight. I mean, that's, that's impossible. But what you can do is you can explain to them how they can get a little bit better. And even if they improve 2%, 3%, 4% every time they go and play, then that's really what we want to achieve. So if I can help them just a little bit and teach them something, then they'll enjoy the game that we all love so much. Mission accomplished, hopefully, maybe, we'll see.